I was about to say that was very interesting. Okay. Stop. Can't tell if they're friend or foe, then assume they're foe until they say that they're a friend. But yeah, I, that's just really interesting. If a planet is a cuboid, would it have a circular orbit around the cube, or would it have a cubed orbit around the cube? Interesting. Never actually thought about that. And I don't think anyone else has either, because it's not something we're likely to find. Because most planets are orbs, which is, I guess, because of gravity and stuff. But, I don't know. Holy crap! Whoa! Hold up there, Q-Boy! Oh, Lord, that... That was... That kind of scared me a little bit, because I thought it was a rectangle. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, that's cool! Sweet! Back up! Who's here? It's the USS Kittimer, Armitage, Renown, and something else. No, I want to sit here and attack the cube with you. Uh, let's actually get around to the part where there's shields. Yeah, I just thought it was a freaking rectangle for a second, though. Because of the way it warped in. Fire! Da -na 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 -na. Fire! I like how the cube is so big that all three of my weapons can get a lock on it. <laughs> Your cube is so big, all three of my weapons can get a lock on you. Boom! Oh, that's an insult I never thought I would be saying. <laughs> Shut up, it made me laugh. Oh, you high yield torpedoes, so I, if it doesn't die before then, you can have two torpedoes. Ugh. This is actually very interesting. I like having like tons of freaking people because there's daily events and stuff where you have to face like huge amounts of Borgs and a really big, bad, powerful Borg at the end. So it's like you actually have to have a Starfleet teamwork and it's really interesting. So I like it. Having multiple people. And there it goes. In a blaze of glory as that one lady said. Oh, this cool broke apart. Uh, face down? I was pressing E instead of W. We held off what we could in Pollux and sent a signal out to Starfleet. These were the closest ships. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. Good to see you. There's no way we could have defeated a cube by ourselves. You have handled things well thus far. Excellent thinking on reconfiguring the satellites into warning beacons. We received the signal as soon as we arrived in the system. Are we going to attempt to retake Vega? I will be discussing that option with the other captains here, but your priority is to protect the civilians you have on board, as well as to ensure the safety of your crew. The Kittimer will return to Earth's space dock with you. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Quinn. He will have more information for you. Yes, sir. Salute. And your crew have done well. Coles would make a fine addition to your senior staff. Alright, we got a phaser, full auto rifle, console, engineering... And Coles. Cool. Congratulations. Oh god. Again. It always does that. And I think he's right. We need to get the civilians to safety. And I don't think I can handle any more excitement. Not now. We will do that and now we will Captain warp. Volok told warp. us to get to Earth space Yeah, we just we just heard that. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and warp. And then we, then you can talk Okay. <laughs> Navigate a web of intricate and overall with the final thread of the Iconian mystery. Or not. Sorry, I was reading the bottom thing of the loading screen. Sorry if you keep hearing like a little brr. It's just I accidentally keep hitting my head on the thing thing. Yay! Earth Space Dog! Are we here? Or are we just invisible? Oh lord. Hold together, frame rate! I know I'm recording and trying to play at the same time, but hold together. You can do it. I have faith. Can I skip this? No. No. <laughs> hold together, game. You can do it. I have faith. Hold together. Right now. Over me. Boom, 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 boom. Yay! Now just hold together till we get to the place. Because there's a high density of people here. 
Oh, oh, I never noticed that. How it has little arrows. That's nice. I'm a level four. At level ten, I can get a new ship. You. Who are you? May I help you? Temporal Agent Philip Cray. Greetings. How can I assist you today? Or, or I had in the future. an... Oh. Oh. I had an encounter. An encounter, you say? Something temporal in nature, I assume. I met someone who claimed to be me from the future, dressed as an admiral. They said to see you if I had any doubts to the ver vercacity of their claims. He never said to talk to Agent That's Philip. protocol in these sorts of cases, but rarely do Starfleet officers actually follow through. I can do a quick scan for chronoton radiation. That will tell me what I need to know. Do it. Hmm. I am getting some light chronoton radiation from you. You were exposed to someone from the future, it seems, but not too far. By these readings, I'd say a maximum of 18 months from the day you encountered them. 18 months? But I, they were an admiral. But that's not entirely out of the question. There's been a steady flow of new starship captains and field promotions in the wake of all the crises going on in the galaxy. Someone like yourself could definitely be an admiral in a relatively short amount of time. They gave me this device. Hmm. This looks to be a Tesseract-based receiver. Where did you get it? My future self gave it to I me. I see. You're not the first to receive one of these from the future. Admiral Archer had a similar device when he was captain of the first Enterprise. These are used to send back information, and in some cases, physical objects from the future. I believe that if you were to do specific tasks that benefit the future, Items useful to you could be sent back in time for you to use. I see. Oh, cool. That's all, thanks. All right. Greetings. Greetings. How can oh, I assist God. you today? A tesseract oh, communications in the future. receiver. That's all. That's Using all. this device will open the Delta Recruit UI. All right, cool. You can also open the UI by clicking on this window. Cool. The Delta Recruit interface shows you what tasks are available. Cool. <laughs> Once you complete the requirements of a task, you can claim the reward for yourself and other characters on your account. Uh, cool. Only Delta Recruit characters can contribute to the weekly goal. Each goal has three tiers to accomplish. Okay. Make sure you check your Delta... Okay. Good to know. Alright. Admiral... What's your name? Quinn. You are a very short person. Greetings, Lieutenant. I have new orders from you. Admiral, sir, Lupa reporting. We have a lot to discuss, Cadet Lupa. Why don't you have a voice? It's Lieutenant, sir. Yes, I see that here in your report transmitted by Captain Volok. He's granted you field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of your active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Mask Taggart, correct? Acting First Officer? Yes, sir, that is correct. I've read these reports facing off against Klingon raiders as a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy. Very unusual. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. Explain to Admiral Quinn what happened. That's quite the story. Yes, sir. It's all true. Don't worry. I have statements here from Captains Volok and Yim and Wheel of Post from Vega Colony collaborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills as well as you and your crew willingness to put yourselves in harm's way for, to preserve the lives of others. Oh god, this is a lot of talking. I'm a Starfleet officer, sir. It's in the job description. You're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. I know that your ship might not be the Enterprise, but I've, you've proven yourself capable of sitting in the captain's chair, sir. Oh lord, let me take a drink of water real quick. Excuse me. Sorry, under normal circum normal under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get to your get your own command. But these are not normal circumstances. We are at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers on ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders without courage and honor, those are harder to find. It's time to try something different. I need someone who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the USS Porcelain Procrastinator. Don't disappoint me. Um... No, but I am... What? Don't disappoint me. No, but I am sorry for the loss of Captain Taggart, sir. 
Captain Taggart was a good man and a fine officer, Lieutenant. He knew what he was doing.